Hello, hello folks, welcome along to Ibrox Stadium for the Women's Champions League game between Rangers Ladies and SL Benfica Ladies. Um, thanks to the support that you guys give us on the Rabble, we've been afforded um, press accreditation for this. Brian, if you move a little bit this way, we'll get to see you as well. No, it's not see you that. There we go. So, <laughs> myself and Brian have got the, um, the media duties tonight up on the gantry. Um, the place isn't looking particularly full at the moment, but... Um, a few folk coming into the, bo into the bottom of the Sandy Jardin, which is quite nice to see. Hospitality looks to be doing okay behind us as well. Um, we've got the teams. We'll just run you through. I'll run you through the Rangers team, and I'll let Brian run you through the Benfica team, because I'm <laughs> nice like that. Okay, so the Rangers team tonight, we've got in goal, Vicky Essen, captain in the absence of um, Catherine Hill, who's sitting on, the, sitting on the bench, obviously not playing because she's injured. She's absolutely devastated. I really, really feel for her. As she said herself on social media, she's waited her entire life to play at Ibrox and she's injured. But anyway, um, as she's saying, goal, Vicky Essen, captain at uh, number two, uh, Nick Doherty, we've got Tessa Medag, Brogan Hay, Kayla McCoy, Rachel McLaughlin, Chelsea Cornett, Jenny Danielson, Lisa Martinez, Kirsty McLean and Sam Kerr. And there's a plethora of subs which we'll get to as and when they happen. And Brian's got the Benfica team for you. <laughs> I'll try my best. I'm not going to guarantee anything here. Uh, in goals for Benfica is, uh, I think it's Ruth Costa, uh, Anna Sie Siechka, uh, Andrea F Fari, Marta Sintra, Anna Vittoria, Lucia Alves, Caro Costa, Andrea Norton, uh, Chloe Lacassi, uh, Pauletta, the captain, and Daniela Ferreira Silva. That is the Benfica team. And they've got a few subs, not as many as us. I mean, it's a usual European team. European game, you can have mountains of substitutes. They've obviously not brought that many over. Brian, you've done a little bit of, um, bit of digging on Benfica. Mm. So tell wasn't, us what you know. It wasn't easy finding information about this team. Um, but what I could find was that their front, uh, up, the girl up front, uh, Chloe Lacassi, the Canadian international, um, to say she can find the goal is an understatement. Uh, she's been something like I think certainly over the last few seasons she's been well into the 20s on a regular basis so obviously that's the the main danger girl for them to, to score the main goals Paulette obviously chips in I think with a few goals as well um, some of the other girls are uh, some of the other girls that aren't, aren't in the team sheet have actually can contribute quite well goal wise but this this girl up front Lacassi she seems to be their their main girl so that's the one that uh, I would say well fits the the back line's got to watch today yeah, she seems to be the one that scores all their goals. Um, our, if you look at the team sheet, they've, they've lined us up as a 3-5-2 formation, but I really can't see that. Uh, as you pointed out, I can't see Sam Kerr, Sam Kerr playing wide on the left in anybody's language. Uh, Benfica, seem, seem, if this is right, Benfica lining up 3-4-3. I don't know whether that's what they would normally line up. I haven't got a clue. I've never seen them. Um, as you say, it's quite difficult getting information about them. Um, the Rangers team, that's quite a strong team. I'm quite surprised that Dina... You know, Os Osman hasn't started. That's the only one really that surprises me. Yeah, I mean, we did say that uh, Arnott as well. That's another one that we, we thought might. But as you said, as we've said in previous pods about the women, the ladies team, they, they have a starting team and then a finishing team. Well, so obviously he's sticking to that sort of formation and that sort of uh, thought process. So they're, they're doing well in the league. So um, got to trust it. Yeah, Ted. Just to let you know, this is the uh, let everybody else know. This is the second round qualifier, first leg. So we play them again in the second leg in Lisbon um, next Wednesday, I believe it is. I don't know whether it's on television anyway. I don't know whether it's available on UEFA streams. I was just about to say, it's on the Rangers YouTube channel tonight at 7.15. Okay, there you go. I didn't even know that. There you go. So the Rangers YouTube channel tonight, live 7.15. Welcome to the UEFA Women's Champions League match tonight between Rangers and... There we go. Just as we start talking, the, uh, the PA decides to come on. At least he's got the message shut up quite quick, so that's good. Um... It's actually good to see that they've got the normal match day announcer as well, which is good. Got to be good for the girls. You know, it's not just not just some random that dragged in to do that. I, I, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, as I was as I was saying on the pod the other day, it's un, it's unfortunate for the girls that this game isn't next week because we've been Ibrox twice in the last week already, and a lot of people probably say, "Well, give us a miss because it's a big ask." Even although it is real, it's really really well priced. A lot of people giving it a miss, so I don't think the crowd's all it's all it could be. Uh, the Brumal Collective guys, they're in behind the, behind the goal with BF3. I think trying to prove a point that that's where they want to be. 
Um, I was here when the ladies played Aberdeen, they were in there as well, and they made a hell of a racket. So that should be quite good. So, I mean, it's a bit late in the day to say if you're, if you're in the local area, you can make it kick off in 26 minutes. Yeah. If you can get to Ibrox in the next 26 minutes, a seven pound a ticket if you've got my jails. Great way to spend that Tuesday night. Absolutely, and it's a, a, a great game. I mean, I've just counted there, they're using six six sections of the the front of the Sandy Jardine stand, so it's, it's the middle bits are filling up nicely now. You know, it's it's getting there both, but um, no, it's it's. I'm just watching the, the Benfica team there, and they're they're obviously quite a technical team. They're very quite skillful on the ball, so the the girls have to watch tonight with their uh, I think their, their turns and their pace because they look they look particularly good in that area. So um, it's just a case of the girls have to enjoy this. They've played here before. It's not as though they haven't played at Ibrox, and just got to enjoy this occasion um, and just. Uh, lap it up because, as I say, it's a it's a marvelous uh, occasion for them to play their Champions League qualifier here, and uh, you know it's great. Can't wait. Yeah, although I think we will come on at half time and give you a, a wee update uh, of what's going on. Uh, as, the, as Brian says, the game is on the Rangers um, YouTube channel from seven fifteen, so you will you may well watch it there. Um, see what see what you think. Obviously, you'll, you'll get replays and stuff on there that we won't get, yeah. but we will we'll put it on. Um, but yeah, we're really looking forward to this. Um, the girls really deserve it. They can actually, it would be great if they can actually get the Champions League proper. Well, we're just talking to a couple of a couple of girls there from the um, the Rangers Ladies Supporters Club. They're, they're up here tonight, um, and you know we we'll, were we'll saying that hopefully we can get through this and play the Champions League group game stage games here at Ibrox because that would be that would be for me. Broadway's a nice enough stadium, but you know give people more of a reason to come here. I think it would be really good. Absolutely. Um... No, it's a, it's it's um, it's 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 not a bad night for football. It's a wee bit chilly, uh, overcast. There's a, there's a slight breeze, but it's not too bad. Well, um, I'm just as I say, I'm just looking some of the. I'm just trying to catch sort of the teams warming up and we'll speak of, um, the speaker. The girls are nipping it around very nicely. Um, you know, they're they're looking very focused, and I would say, yeah, they're they're looking. Yeah, I, as I say, I'm looking at all the passes and they're, they're very crisp. Um, Shots are looking good, so no, it's it's all looking good. So it's just a case of let's see if the girls can do it and you know get through the Champions League. But it's good. it's going to be a big ass tonight. It's uh, a, you know Benfica were only formed in the ladies team in 2017, so they're pretty much the same as the ladies team of the, uh, our team. They're not really well established, but they've grown quite quickly, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously the ladies team's been around for a lot longer than that, and they've only been professional for three years, three or four years. Um, I mean, before that, they were all they were actually paid to play, which I found quite bizarre. But that was just what it was like. Um, I mean, as I said, when I was reading the teams, it was great. There's Catherine Hillback. She was she was one of the one of the original gangsters. I feel like she was in the team quite quite early doors. And then she went away to America and then down to Durham. Uh, and she's back. Unfortunately, she's injured tonight. She's still walking about with that, just that space boot on her foot. So I'm devastated for her. Um, but yeah, I mean, the girls have been tearing up in the league as a few boys have said in the comments. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is totally different kettle of fish. All we can really hope for is still be in the tie. I mean, obviously, a win would be great. The fact, I mean, I assume it's the same as the men, that there's no away goal rule anymore either in this. So I really should know that. I'm assuming there isn't. No. Um, so from that point of view, I think it could be a very exciting game. We, we need to stay in the tie. I don't think I don't think a draw would be, would be a terrible result. You know, but I mean, let's, let's hope that the girls can, can do the business. It's, it's one of those, I think it's going to be exactly the same as, as the men in Europe. They're going to have to take, if they make chances, they're going to have to take the chances. You know, um, I mean, I've noticed some of the domestic games, although, although we've been absolutely scalping teams, we've been very, very wasteful in front of the goal. Can't afford to do that tonight. No. Um, that's the girls just coming off the pitch now, they're starting 11, so uh, we'll all be getting limbered up back into the way to the dressing room to get limbered up and into their match day kits. Um, we've got the Benfica girls are just going through some shoot, shooting uh, practices. Um, as you say, both the the, the Broomloan boys are there making a noise right behind them, so good to see. Uh, as you say, they're probably making a, 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 a great point trying to be there. Um, but no, it's a it's a, a great occasion for the girls. Can't wait, and as I say, we just hope they can play a night. We hope we can get a good result, as Wolf says. Draw is not particularly bad, but you would like a win. Of course, you'd like a win. I mean, yeah. it, it would be. I mean, as we were talking about just before we came on earlier, before we went live, um, the, the bench is fairly strong because the, the way Malky Thompson sets the girls up, it seems to be that he's got a starting team and a finishing team. You know, he seems to have. I mean, he always seems to bring on the likes of Kirsty Howitt, uh, obviously. Uh, 
Queen Lizzie Arnott, uh, Emma Watson, you know, they, they all seem to always come on during the second half at various times. So I'm sure he's got a game plan. Um, and we'll just see how, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But it is, it's absolutely fabulous that they've brought the game here at Ibrox. Um, and as we said at the start, guys, it's all because of the support we get off of you lads uh, and lassies in the, of the rabble, the members and the non-members that, that we can you know, we can do stuff for us. You know, I mean, it's, it's a great prize first experience on the country. And, I mean, he's absolutely loving it so far. Aren't you, Brian? It's, it's, it's the first time on the country. Yes, it is. But I uh, must admit, if both hadn't been with me, I certainly wouldn't be able to find my way here because it's, uh, it's literally a maze of trying to find your way here. But, no, it's, uh, it's great. The hospitality people are sitting behind us, and uh, it's great. Can't wait. So that's it. Just a very, very short um, prelude to the game. Uh, I know the Rabbles I know the Rabbles got a show at half past seven for the members, so uh, you should get into that while watching the game on Rangers YouTube. But we'll see you again at half time, hopefully. And hopefully we'll have some good news for you. Uh, hopefully the girls will be doing themselves proud. Yeah. And we'll speak to you all again then. Cheers, thanks. Cheers guys. Oh. <sighs>